this video we are going to solve a program so here there is a question write a c sharp program to accept the side of a square and print the area of the square yes this is the question given so i have drawn a square here and i have said here side of a square so how to solve this problem so for this i will write a simple algorithm here I think it is not visible. I'll increase the font to 18. Okay. Now maybe 22 is okay. 20. Okay. First step, what we have to do is we have to read the side of square from the console. Side of square from console yes then we have to calculate the area and we have to print the area okay so this is a answer for your question what is that question is we have to accept the sky side of a square and print the area of the square the steps involved in solving this problem are first we have to read the side of square then calculate the area and print the area so what is the area of square a equals to a square we cannot do a square in programming we can do a into a yes we have to calculate a into a and we have to print it okay one more bonus i will give for this question we will calculate the perimeter of the square also okay we will also calculate the perimeter of square and we'll print it perimeter of square perimeter of square is 4 into a and we are going to print that also okay clear with this so let's go to visual studio yes here i will create a new project So we are doing console application. Click on next. In project name I will give area calculation. Okay. Create. Okay. The project has been created now. So, first we are going to declare a variable. Integer. To declare integer, we are using int. Int side of square and area. Okay. Yes. The read the input there is something called as read line console dot read line okay so this will read the input from the command line okay what we are reading we are reading the side of square okay we are going to give the side of square a right? integer value yes but the thing is that Whenever you are reading something from the command line, it will be in the form of strings. Okay. It will be in the form of string. So, to convert that string to integer, you have to do one more thing here. What is that? Convert dot. There is something called as 2int. 2int, 16, 32, 64, you can choose any one. Okay. I will choose 2 in 32 and inside the function it is a function 2 in 32 okay so this console dot read line you are going to write it inside that 2 in 32 yes okay so what this line will do 
this will convert that string into integer and you have to store it in side of square i hope i am clear with this line okay it comments here converts the string input of command line into integer clear with that okay next what we have to do is we have to calculate the area area equals to what area equals to side of square into side of square yes then we have to print it to print we have right line right means it is like print and print ln in your java print is nothing but here it is right print ln there here it is right line leave that a console dot right line will say area of square is and to declare variables we have to write curly braces inside that we are going to write the index okay index you can start from 0 or 1 you have to say 0 and outside the double quotes you have to put comma and write the variable name which you want to print i want to print the area yes okay so this is one line save it okay now we will run it before running i will print one statement at the beginning okay console dot right line enter side of square enter side of square okay yes now we'll save and run how to run you know already there is a run button so click on it yes here it is waiting for our input enter side of square say i will give 5 so the output should be what 25 no yes let's see area of square is 25 yes you got the output yes now now what i will do is i will calculate the perimeter now hmm. so for that i am going to declare one more variable say perimeter okay so perimeter equals to 4 into side of square yes now what i have to do is i have to print both the answer in one right line statement how to do that okay area of square is you have written one brace and inside are zero you have written that for this you are printing area yes okay i will give slash n means go to next line perimeter of square is now one more pair of curly brace you are going to take inside which you are going to write one okay clear with that okay now come outside the double quotes for this zero you are printing area yes put comma for this one you are going to declare one more variable here what you are going to print you are going to print perimeter is this clear okay so let me check run it say 3 area of square should come 9 and the fourth is a 12 perimeter should come let me see so area of square is 9 perimeter of square is 12 i hope you got to know how the output came clear with that so this is a simple program in which we are calculating the side of square sorry area and perimeter of the square okay so we are going to do one more program in the next video on data types and then we'll move on to string functions okay so this is all about this video thank you for watching